Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's The Oni with Thrifty Divas and I'm here with a rather large Dollar Tree haul. So hopefully you checked out my Come With Me to Five Dollar Trees that was posted for you yesterday. Um, so this is all the stuff that was hauled during those five trips as well as I this morning had to go to the Indian reservation to buy cigarettes and I stopped off at the Dollar Tree near there. So that stuff is included in here as well. Um, I am counting down the minutes to camping. I'm running out of time and now just have to spend the next two days getting everything ready and I will try to film as much of that for you guys as possible because several of you asked. So I guess let's just uh, get right in and I also did film a little bit of footage. Um, I was going to put it before but I guess I'll put it after even though it doesn't really make any sense to do that but I will put it afterwards of uh, that one store that I went to this morning. So all right in categories I will begin for you. Okay let's start off with food. I do have a bunch of food. Um, Okay, first I picked up two loaves of whole wheat bread because they were on clearance for 25 cents. So I picked up two of them. They expire in two days. I'm just going to throw them in the freezer. They'll be totally fine. Then I picked up a box of this, the green one. So my mom made this like crazy low point cheesecake yesterday because I told you uh, she and my stepfather are on Weight Watchers. She said that the original recipe called for stevia. So I, and then she's like, oh, but I don't have any, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, I'm like, Dollar Tree has it. I will get you some. So that's why we got this going on. Okay. And if you're wondering about my mom, I still don't know. I hope it's okay. I did a lot of work to that finger. She basically almost cut her entire fingertip off. It was down to the it's graphic, so skip 10 seconds if you don't want to hear it. But anyway, she cut herself very, very deeply. It was like down to the bone. She really should have gone and gotten stitches and antibiotics, but she refused to go anywhere. So that's that. I put on Steri strips. I protected it for her and just praying for the best. Moving on. All right, so for camping, I got four bottles of Diet Pepsi, four one liter bottles. I got two more of these for snacks, the little dip and, dip and grab and go hummus with pita chips. And, oh, I didn't even notice this one was open. Anyway, and I have opened them before, but in case you wanna see, these are the little bag of pita chips that it comes with in a little tiny container of hummus. So I figured I would bring a couple of those with us camping in case anybody wants a little snack throughout the day. And because there's uh, really not that many chips in there, I also just picked up one bag of these. This uh, Way Better Snacks Avocado Ranch Whole Grain Corn Tortilla Chips with Sprouted Flax Quinoa and Chia. So that sounds like that would be very nice in hummus as well. All right, what else? They brought back these. I got these last year too, so I was super excited to see these again. The Keebler Toasteds, and it's 12 ounces. It's three huge sleeves, and these are harvest wheat. And the best buy date is October 16th of this upcoming year. So I got two packages of these, one for my house, one for my mom's. Then they had these. Now these are a product of Canada. They are Sunray Snacks, Original Entertainer Crackers. They also had them in vegetable. And they were right next to the Monet Crackers that they always have, which also say Entertainer Crackers, and which also come in original and vegetable. So, are they the same? I never paid attention to where Monet was made. Maybe they're Canadian as well. I don't really know, but anyway. Those look new, so I grabbed a box of those to try. Then I got a can of the Planters Cheese Bowls, this time in the white cheddar, and it is 2.75 ounces. 
I picked up four cans of these Pampa Boiled Oysters. It is an eight ounce can. If you're interested in points, it is two points for the entire can because my mom checked. So I picked up four cans for them and they can make a nice sauce for pasta or whatever. She and my stepfather love this types of stuff. So the last ones I got them, they loved. It was with the chilies, the onions and something. It was oysters and it was like, you got six in a can. I saw my stepfather open one of those cans once. I'm like, there's six oysters in there. He's like, but they're delicious. Anyway, those were two points for the whole can and these are two points for the whole can and this is a lot. So, huge difference. Then some things to bring along camping. I picked up a can of Green Giant sliced beets. I thought these might be nice to put out with some hummus and chips too. Maybe while dinner's cooking or something. I got a can of Green Giant sliced carrots. And I got a can of Green Giant cut green beans. So these are all for camping. As well as, I picked up one pack eight ounce pack of this bar s cato salami um in case if you saw my ocean state job lot haul i got the big family size 10 ounce pouches two of them of the salad in seconds ready-made tuna salad pouches to bring with us to the beach while we're camping i'm going to make sandwiches but in case anybody doesn't want tuna my mom bought herself her vegetarian cold cuts so maybe somebody wants a cold cut sandwich i don't know and then for our burgers and sandwiches or whatever i just picked up one of these american style singles cheeses from dollar tree made with milk i feel like this is the cheese that doesn't melt but whatever and then i did from the grocery store pick up uh, I went with my mom yesterday after I fixed her finger to get her more, you know, the major camping foods. Um, I picked up a nice big pack of hardwood smoked thick cut bacon for breakfast. But I, from Dollar Tree just now, got two packs of this Farmer John classic eight sausage links. So I figured I'll do that for breakfast too with the eggs. And I just found these at this trip when I went just now, they had this little, you don't get many in here at all, but this little campfire giant roasters. Um, it is eight ounces, but they're the huge marshmallows. So I thought that might be fun to bring with us. I am bringing regular large marshmallows and chocolate and graham crackers, you know, of course. Um, and then I picked up a pack of this Brim's movie theater butter popcorn. This popcorn is amazing if you haven't tried it before. Because when I told my son that I was bringing little DVD players, etc., etc., he's so excited. He said he wants to watch movies and eat popcorn while camping. So, gotta give the baby what he wants. So, I am bringing that camping so we can watch movies. I don't know. Uh, let me just stand up very quickly. Sorry. Like my shirt? <laughs> I love it. All right. They had the Italian sweet cream, so I love this. I just picked up two of these to have on hand because you never know. Henny, stop running around. You're shaking the deck, which therefore shakes the table. And then they had these. What an amazing deal, guys. The cars table water crackers for a dollar and these are good until april of next year so wow so i picked up two of those one for here one for my mom's house um and i picked up another one of the little parmesan cheeses this is the real one the bigger ones are fake uh all right i think that is it with the food well Let's just throw this in here too. So this was new. I found this at today's store. This is a product of India, good until April 2022. Kind Rewards Buffalo Jerky Water Buffalo Steak Chews. 
only ingredients are dehydrated water, dehydrated water and buffalo meat. So I got these for Henny. Water buffalo? Oh, duh! The spacing is all weird. Dehydrated water buffalo meat. That's the only ingredient. Water buffalo. That's crazy. Okay. Moving on. I picked up four rolls of this mega my size 210 sheet paper towels. One is for camping. The rest are for the house. I also have like 12 packs of D batteries that I picked up as well for all the lanterns and tent fans and stuff. All right, let's move on to some random household stuff. So I found these, these were new. This is by Scrub It. Clean Brilliantly, made in China. It is from Supply Plus New Jersey Inc. in St. Patterson, New Jersey. Did I just say Saint? Oh, I am shot. Yesterday took its toll on me and I never napped, guys. It's, it's 26th Street, Patterson, New Jersey, not Saint Patterson. But I picked up three packs of these microfiber cleaning towels and it is a two pack. So I actually got these for my husband to try when he runs out of microfiber towels. He gets his microfiber towels from Costco. He says they're the best ones on earth. He refuses to use anything else. They come in a big bag uh, for like $18 a bag or something. I don't even know. But when they get too cruddy or too cruddy for him, he just throws them out. So sometimes he's out of towels. So just in case, I got three packs of those, giving him six. That would at least do a day's work if he ever needs it. So I grabbed that. Then I picked up another one of these. If you saw in my last haul, I got this. This is the Great Sense Odor Neutralizer in Spring Fresh. I really liked it. So I went ahead and picked up another one since I don't know if I will ever see it again. Then this was new. I didn't smell it, but they always have the blue ones or the purple ones. So this pink one was new and it is in the scent Spring. And it is the Inwash Fragrance Booster. Smells pretty nice, smells pretty nice. I only got one because again, mask and I don't smell anything, but it does smell very nice. I got this for camping to do our dishes. This is the Dawn Ultra, 50% less scrubbing and three times more grease cleaning power versus non-Ultra Dawn. So I figured let me get the best stuff possible because the water in the spigot isn't really hot, you know what I'm saying? When you're doing the dishes. And I also picked up two of these hot and cold packs you you can put you can heat them up but I'm using them for camping so I'm gonna lay them flat and freeze them just in time and I will also be getting all of my ice from Dollar Tree the morning that we leave for camping are there any other household things no not that I can see all right so, uh, I don't know I'll do some kind of toy things I don't know I picked this up to send to a friend this is this adorable actually glittery catacorn lollipop from the fun finds section so I thought that was super cool and I picked that up to send to a friend next so this isn't toys but to my son it is my son is obsessed with these these little decorative birds with the little clips from the floral garden. So I got him two different ones here. He's going to flip. He loves these things so much, guys. I can't even tell you. They have the little alligator clip on there. He like clips them to himself, to his sleeve, to himself. And he's all like standing there like Snow White. And so it's crazy. But anyway, he loves them. He's going to be ecstatic that I found those. And then, as I showed in the walkthrough yesterday, I went ahead and picked up this dancing dinosaur solar one because I got the full dinosaur scene terrarium solar one that I showed in the last haul as well. 
but when I got that, they didn't have these. So I made sure to get that. And I also picked up the a cat in a boot to send to the same friend that I'm sending that lollipop to. Okay. Then, um, oh, they're actually still out here. Okay. So I'm still looking for the perfect size Tupperware for this. In the last haul, I hold these Make It Blocks five piece building bases because I want to make a little travel kit. If you didn't see that whole little travel kit of Legos and what I needed was some little tiny Legos to go along with it. So they had black guys, they had black Legos, a bag of black. I was like, oh, I want to do it. But then I'm like, it would be all black because the base is black. I would love it, but I picked fluorescent green. They had many colors to choose from, including hot pink. Oh my gosh, I should get it for me black base hot pink legos and just go crazy but anyway i digress as usual so that is to make my son the little tupperware of travel legos then i showed this in the walkthrough i've been looking for this for a while and i drive a chevy so i just thought it was really cute it is the chevy micro key launcher so i think my son will really enjoy that i'll just use this as like sleep in your bed prize um, I think that's it for the toys well yeah I think that's it for the toys okay kind of sort of good segue let's just jump into this fan heads guys fan heads I saw people hauling them from their state and I'm like yeah not us yes us so if you saw the walkthrough yesterday I could not believe that they had these right so I got three of them I got one for my husband for Christmas I got one for his nephew for Christmas and then one for one of my friends to mail for Christmas she lives in Brooklyn but we don't see each other in the holidays so we mail gifts so those three are the Giants ones and then when I went today and you'll see it in the footage that I'll put at the end of this video even though it's gonna be obscenely long again the store I went to today by the reservation had Giants and Jets ones. So now I got two Jets ones, one for my husband's brother and one for my husband's father for Christmas. So that's funny. So we can have, cause they will watch football together too. Not my husband though, cause he watches it with me. <laughs> but I can have my husband's father, my husband's brother, and then his brother's son who's a Giants fan. The three of them can sit around watching whatever with that. Okay, so that's that. Then, uh, very few articles of clothing, so might as well just do that. So, in my last haul, I found these women's knee-high socks with like a frilly ribbed, and I found black beige and gray and then somebody told me there's navy blue also but at this store i found these i think these are nicer than the ribbed ones but again i got them for boot socks to pull above the boot because they're so decorative and cute so i got them in black with that like cross weave on there so cute and gray i love them so i better make sure i wear a lot of like short skirts and boots this fall and winter with all these cute socks I have. And then, so I wanted pocket squares for my husband in Patty, my friend Patty at Patty's Chance Holes and more. If you haven't checked her out, please go do tell her the Oni sent you. She's a very dear friend of mine. So she found me the pocket squares because I never thought I would find them. So she got me one of every one they had for my husband. I got my husband into pocket squares because I used to work at a men's clothing store when I was younger and it's one of my passions. I love men's fancy clothes. But anyway, I'm digressing again. So she got me all of them for my husband and I never thought I would find them, but I did. I did at the store yesterday. So then I was thinking of a Christmas presents for my one of my uncles and my stepfather. So I got them two each. My stepfather has like one suit, we call it like the suit, and it's navy blue and it was like custom tailored for him and stuff. It's nice, it's nice. It's like slim fitted. He's got a beautiful pair of brown shoes that go with it and a brown belt and he looks very snazzy. 
so to go with that suit i don't know um you do get two blue ones though when you do this so whatever but i got him this pack with the paisley and then this pack with the burgundy stripe with the blue so just throw that into a nice little christmas present for my stepfather and then my uncle who wears the suit to work every day i got this one which is black polka dot and a solid well it's like charcoal definitely the second one is like a deep charcoal and then black with the with the polka dot and then the same paisley pack as well so i got them two each really nice really nice little fancy christmas presents all right so that ends clothing um and this goes well all right i guess that could go with that stuff should we do health and beauty let's do health and beauty so a few non-exciting things that i picked up though i made sure because of my mom's finger and all that i just want to have it so i got two rolls of the assured rolled gauze it's three inches wide um by two and a half yards wait what Oh, two and a half yards unstretched, four and a half yards stretched, and it's sterile until opened because it's sealed. So I got two of those, and then I got one pack of these Curad small gauze pads. It's a, a 10 count. I don't know if I said that. Ouchless removal. So I just got those to have next. Okay. I found this. Do I need it? Not particularly, but look at this. Look at this wide tooth comb and it's like animal print. Exactly what animal? I don't really know, but it gives me cheetah vibes, even though it's like not, but I love it. So I grabbed that. And oh and this is for camping too i picked up one of these 50 kids sunscreens um i figure the whole family can use it for our beach day i got one of these for my well for my mom but i'm gonna like save it with presents in my present stash but this is the eco tools polishing eco poof and i just picked the pink one and this is what the little hanger strap looks like it says eco tools on there so, all right. And then for my stepfather's Christmas stocking, they had Kiwi brand today. This was at today's store, this morning store. Um, yeah, Kiwi brand shoe polish, and they only had brown. But I grabbed it, and I just said he's got those the brown shoes that go with the suit. So, hey. Uh, okay. Okay then these were a wish list item so i was super happy to find them i got two of each so i'm giving a set to my mom but this is the elf correction stick and this color is for darkness dark spots and dark under eye before your foundation and stuff so that's great and then i got two of the green which corrects redness and red spots so one for me one for my mom and then same thing here one for me one for my mom i got now i already found the black handled small stipple brush in a previous haul by elf but this time they had the sculpting face brush so that is nice oh that feels wonderful and it's got a nice chunky handle loving it loving it loving it okay so it says the contoured and curved shape of this brush hugs the face to expertly sculpt and blend product contour cheekbones define the nose and help minimize the jawline i love it and i found this big boy so the only one i still really want is the fan one which i haven't seen yet but now i'll hold out hope so this is the elf powder brush and it has a second protector in it the other ones have not so far have they no so 
This is the first one that I've seen with its own sleeve. Oh, again, nice fat handle, this powder brush. Oh, that's very, very nice. I love that. So, uh, it's shedding already. Hopefully that was just a fluke. Yeah, I think that was a fluke. So, one for me, one for my mom, once again. All right, and then, speaking of my friend Patty at Patty's Chance Holes and More, she found me some of the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. Um, I didn't know if I was ever gonna find it but I did find it and I don't I still don't know what color is gonna be good for me so I grabbed a few of them and I will also be giving them to my mom as well um, so I got I don't even know I got two in nude beige I got one in natural beige and then another store had creamy ivory which I feel might be too light but I, I don't know. I just figured we'd try. Now, somebody pointed out to me in the comments of the walkthrough video that they have different expiration dates and actually the ones that say new are already expired. They expired in November of 2019. Eight months ago, nine months ago, whatever. That's crazy. And then I have different dates on the other ones. I have November upcoming and December upcoming. But that's crazy. I mean, I don't really care as long as they don't like stink or anything. But let me see. I want to try the nude beige because I wish I knew. And then I might love it and then I might want to grab a whole ton more. But let's see. Because... It's so hard to tell. It's so hard to tell what is gonna... Is that a mirror? Yeah. There's a mirror in there. And they put a little film over it so I can show you guys without blinding you. That's nice. And then this opens. And uh, that comes off. And then you got your sponge in there. Mm, that looks, yeah. That looks pretty much perfect to me, folks. Can't even see it. Yeah. What is that? Nude beige for the win. I do not put foundation under my eye like that. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> There's the whole process when I do my makeup. Oh, that smells very nice too. I'm just trying to see the coverage. Not too shabby. This would be great to keep in your purse and they separate the sponge so it doesn't keep the bacteria there. Great to keep in your, in my, I can't speak for you guys. In my makeup bag, in my purse, on the go when you're not doing your crazy, crazy stuff, you know? Cool. All right. And then I show these in the walkthrough footage that I'm still going to put on the end of this because I'm insane and it's already at 20, 29 minutes. I have so much left to go, guys. Oh, wow. Here we are. So they had this whole new set this beauty benefits color squad um it was like a spring something or other i don't i don't even know you'll see it in the walkthrough but the only two things i picked up from that because i thought they were cool were these liquid liners one was in purple and i don't know why i got the gold now that i'm thinking about it because i have i'm like oh i don't have gold liquid liners yeah you do see your name you have several oh well um but anyway now i have another one that looks dark that looks very, very dark, so that's not, what? What? Gold? And the package legit says, oh, gold ore. Does that make a difference? Clearly it does. 
You guys are gonna die. Hold on. What are you told? This is baby poop. Baby poop. Khaki-ish, brownish. Not gold. Okay. Let's see the purple. This says purple violet. The gold isn't, the gold ore isn't leaving me very hopeful, but let's check this out. Okay. Oh, yes. I love it. I love it. It's a little watery and it's bleeding out, but can you see that color? Yes. Ooh. It's pretty. Okay. I love it. I love that color. I think that's it on the makeup. All right, moving on. Uh, a couple of little ceramics. So I picked up this one, the odds and ends. I just thought it was so cute. I love it. And I picked up a two of these ceramic incense holders. I showed the three in the walkthrough and I chose the a white Buddha head incense burner. You put your incense right there. Hopefully it's long enough to catch your ashes on the incense sticks. But I got one for me and then one for my mom for Christmas. Nice little present. Put it in a little pretty box. Yes. Okay. Then I'm going to move on to like books and paper and crafter square and all together. I don't know. I'm just going to try to get this done now. So I found marquee love heidi swap three ounce containers of glitter the my store only had one of this pink does it have a color on it no it has a number though three six nine five three zero it's like a rose gold if you can see that that's better they only had one left and then they had a whole bunch of gold so i picked up a few of the gold which is three six nine five four two three ounces of glitter brand name glitter for a dollar so yes yes okay i picked up this cat washi tape isn't that adorable? Oh my goodness. That is amazing. And then I picked up these Crafter Square 12 piece oil pastels. Remember Craypaws? I'm aging myself. Craypaws were the ish and they were oily and nice. I don't have such high hopes for this i don't but we'll see let's see okay mm, 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 mm. it's not a cray paw feels like a crayon i'm not surprised i'm not surprised but anyway that's what it looks like if you actually know what an oil pastel is like, you can even see it. You can even, I, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on camera, but you can see how waxy these things are and they're barely coming off. Didn't mean to flip you guys off. Um, that's a disappointment. They're fancy crayons. Okay. Then I went a little crazy in the teachers in the teaching tray. So I showed these in the walkthrough from yesterday. I love these. These are the thin ones, the 36 pieces that you get, but I love the anchor for little note cards. I love it. And then I love the popsicle too for little notes. And then I got the marble border for paper crafts. You get 10 in here. And with those, you can always cut them and just fold them and make little tiny 
tags or little gift cards, you know, to from cards or little notes on presents. Take a whole punch and a little ribbon. Endless. And then I got this 12 piece of this little gingham. It's this little turquoise gingham. I love it. And this 12 piece of cookies and some of them have bites cut out and I love it. And you can like cut this one here and do little notes or I just love it. Okay, so that's that. Then I picked up a pack of stickers. You get 50 in here by Jot. Whoever's watching this is gonna figure out it's for them, but there's glitter on here too. They're really pretty, really detailed little stickers. And then this was a repurchase for me, but I just figured I'd get another one. This is the scratch and stencil tie dye. So you get like this black paper. It's all sealed up in a pouch back here. And you get stencils and the dowel and there's your paper underneath. So, um, and then I don't really need these, but I have, you know, office supply issues like a lot of us do. So this is a 10 pack of Papermate Wright Brothers mechanical pencils with the little polka dots on them. And I just think that is an amazing deal. It's 0 0.7 millimeter lead. So yeah, I got those just to have. Okay. Then the store that I went into today actually had some Halloween stuff out, although it was last year's stuff, just like the store yesterday was. So... I'll show you that in a minute. I picked up this uh, nine feet of thick, wide Singer ribbon. It's got like acorns and leaves and stuff. It's satin. I picked this up to put in the fall giveaway, fall slash Halloween giveaway. All right, so Halloween stuff, like I said, just to satiate myself, even though it's last year's. This is three different packs of confetti so this is spiders this is little like spider webs cobwebs and little jack-o-lanterns this one is bats on the top this one says boo and this one is black cats. Black cats in like a little scary pose. Oh, oh, I thought I lost a pack on here. And then this one is bats. So that was a repeat, right? I think that's bats. It's got these white ghosts and these purple RIP tombstones. Oh, purple and silver. I thought it was just the back, but no, there's purple and silver. And then I got these three ice trays, which I did not get last year, but now, cause I'm like, I don't need them for ice, but now I'm like, I want them for chocolate. I started collecting them for chocolate. So I got these little pumpkins, two, four, six, eight, ten, ten 10 at a time, these little pumpkins. And then I got all of these. I got the skeleton. This would be cool in chocolate, but this would also be really cool in a punch bowl in ice. Yeah. I love it. And fangs. Because down the line. Halloween parties, whatever. And then I got three window clings. And that'll end this ginormous hole. And I'm putting like two minutes of footage on here too. These window clings I thought were so cute. And they have glitter on them too. You just can't see it. But there's some glitter but I love all the Halloween sweet treats and it says trick or treat. And then I got this one, which I did get last year, but I wanted it again because I love it so much. I love it. The little animals dressed up and the little candies. And I got this one, the witch's brew, hocus pocus. And then it's got all potions and stuff. So. All right, that is this monstrous hole yet once again, guys. 
um, and stay tuned right now for a little bit of, of bonus footage. Make sure to go check out that five store vlog style come with me to Dollar Tree from yesterday. And I think the next things that I will be posting is going to be the camping stuff. I'm pretty sure. I do have friend mail also that I want to get to before we leave for camping. So I'm trying my best but thank you guys for hanging out with me for like a giant chunk of your day because this video is crazy long and uh until the next video uh, stay blessed my friends i love each and every one of you psych before we get into the extra footage there are three items i forgot to show you so i'm just gonna go ahead and show them to you so i'm about to show you these in a walkthrough when i first saw them but i decided to pick them up it is a four pack of this we've seen the big bottles of it the big uh cartons of it at dollar tree they only had mango nectar and uh, they have a super cute picture on them and uh, I was expecting to see where it's from but I don't see it anyway okay they're not telling us that's fine but I picked these up um, one of them would bring camping for my son then I picked up this black foam board ready board and the reason why I got this is because my friend Patty over at Patty's Chance Holes and more got me the post-it note pixel art Mario the Super Mario Brothers Mario packet Thank God she did because we never got them here and I want to do it on a board so that I can keep it or move it or put it wherever I want it, the one that I told you to get me was like the smallest one. It was 20 by 20. This is 20 and then longer than that, but 20 wide because I like to give myself no room for error. Yes. But anyway, we'll see how that goes. And the very last thing before the bonus footage, I found this random thing. Two photo prop stickers. I thought it was so cute super kid and super dad it shows it on their t-shirts so i thought that would just be really cute photo op i don't know maybe i could do it at some point and then like frame it for him for father's day or something i don't know but i just couldn't resist so now i'm done now there's the extra footage and everything i just said two minutes ago okay guys i'm walking into one last store and i see some halloween stuff already it looks like last year's again but I don't care. And they actually have a whole other section too. Yay. And in the teaching tree, they have that little tiger on a Vespa. No problema. Whatever that is. I'll be happy. I love it. And the U Rock with the boombox. Then they have this border with the pennant banners. These animals. Oh, I love this one with all the books. That's new. A lot of these are not new, though. The lemons. They have this Miss Spa Age Defy mask. That's the small stipple brush by Elf. I got that already. And oh boy. They have these sculpted facial brush by Elf. I've been looking for these. And the huge powder brush. Awesome. I'm definitely getting some of these. Just looking for new stuff. They have the Wet n Wild cushion here too. And some lighter colors than I've seen. Alright, these look new. LA Colors Mineral Eye Shadows. This one is in Gemstone. And then they have this one. This is in Butterfly. 
LA Colors Smoky Quad. That looks new. This four pack of travel brushes and this three piece eyebrow stencil. Then I see this eight piece shower caps distributed by Greenbrier, but I think they just changed the package. This is the older package. It's also eight piece and imported by Greenbrier, so they just made a new package. I see some new socks. What is this one? A bunny? I think it's a bunny with those teeth. I don't know. A bear, maybe? A panda? And another bear? I don't really know what these are. <laughs> These are cool. These are men's shoe liners. They're like low cut socks. I've never seen these before. And then they have these new men's dress socks too. And in another spot, they have all the women's shoe liners. Blue stripes, this turquoise one. So these are like socks socks, you know, not like the knee high material peds that we usually get. And then this pink striped one. They have this whole display of beauty benefits, summer vibes. Here are all the eyeshadow singles. And then we have Glow with the Flow, three bronzers here. And then two blushes called Lasting Flush. We got uh, lip gloss and then all liquid lipsticks. Two mascaras. One is Vava Voom. One is Fluttery Lengths. Both black. A gold liquid liner. A purple liquid liner. And a two pack of brown eyeliners. Then they have these slow feeder bowls. If you have a dog that eats two fast and makes himself sick. I've had one of those. Blue, red, and beige. This is amazing at a dollar. I see this in new juice boxes in mango nectar. That's the only flavor they have. I just want to see. So this has 15 grams of total sugar. I want to compare it with Juicy Juice just for fun. And Juicy Juice is 14 grams of total sugar, but it is 100% juice. The other one is not. This store has both Giants and Jets fan heads. And they brought back out these Sugar Skull stemless glasses in blue, pink, and white. And those are the ones I've already shown. I'm assuming this is left from last year. Peppermint Fragrance Oil with candy canes on it. It's cute. By the register, I see two different types of monster pens. We have the three-eyed one in red and the one-eyed one in purple. These stickers look new to me. The Descendants 3. And then we also have Transformers. And of course, Mickey and Disney Princesses. This sign is super cute. Look at the sequence. Mermaids take shelfies. Are they all the same? Yeah, they're all the same. But look at that sequence. That is so pretty. So that's going to do it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this monstrous haul and the little bit of bonus footage.